Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. Today we are going to be looking at an old Call of Duty set. This is the SEAL Team. Nothing else, just SEAL Team. That's the whole name and that is the whole set as far as I can tell. So we're going to take a look at this. This was sent to me by Melissa. If you remember, um, I was sent a package that I was not expecting and there was a ton of stuff in it. And this was in there. I'll put the little card to that video up in the corner so you can take that. Take a look at that. Now, this box, this is what I wish Mega still did. Look at this. This is a photo. This is a photo of the set out on a beach. It's literally, they took it out, set it up, and that's what's on the box. And I absolutely love that. It looks really cool. It just. I don't know, it, I feel like it is a bit inspiring. When I saw this box art, it made me want to get these guys out um, and do photos with them. So, that's pretty cool. There's coordinates here. Now, I've heard people say that those coordinates are actually the coordinates of the location where the photo was taken. So, that's pretty neat. Mega Blocks logo. At the top, we get to see some of the SEAL team. We get to see one of them here. And then, around the back we get the renders. So these are pretty much all renders. We've got some in like night vision, some swimming. It looks like we get a whole weapons rack. There's a ton of accessories here. So I am, I'm excited to take a look at this. There we go. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Just no further preamble. Let's just jump into it. It looks like we have two guys that are not uh, divers and then three who are. I always like the idea of taking photos of uh, figures and sets and whatnot that are supposed to go underwater. It's just so difficult. It's difficult to simulate underwater environments. There we go. There's all of our parts. Now, something interesting it looks like has happened with these, and I'll, I'll explain more in a moment. But we have instructions, and then what is this? Oh, it's like an introduction. Oh, it's an introduction to the the system. Look at that. I feel like some people still would benefit from how to build the figure, things like this. Very interesting, okay, cool. We have the instructions, we have the bag and then the figure here. So from what I can tell, these figures are suffering from an issue I have not run across until now, and it is when the plastic is, I don't know if it gets old or what, but look at this, it gets this residue on it, and I don't really know why or how, but it kind of turns like this whitish gray. You can see I just kind of wipe my finger across it and it comes off. So it doesn't look like it'll be too hard to clean up. It's just something that happens. I don't really know. It happens to older stuff mainly. But your figure is not ruined if that happens. Uh, there's even a little bit on the lower legs. It should wipe right off. If it doesn't, you should be able to get it off with soap. Um, it's interesting though. It's kind of almost like odd weathering. And I saw a couple other of the figures in here had that. And it's not just exposure to the weather. I mean, maybe it's temperature changes, but they're literally sealed in the packages. They've been sealed in the packages since this set came out in... When did this come out? Um, I should say 2014. So it's been sealed for that long. Let's see. How, i got to do that math in my head, my head. This should not be that hard, but eight years. Eight years this has been sealed. So we have a figure here, we have a figure here. It looks like they all have bits of that residue. Oh, you can see it there on that torso. We have some stands, always nice to get. We have one of these pieces. I really like these pieces. They're good for background stuff. They're good for making the weapon racks. We have a crate, very nice Call of Duty crate. And why is this guy in such a giant bag? For some reason, this dude gets his own bag and it's absolutely massive compared to the other ones. Get some more accessories. 
another bag of accessories. Oh my word. Lots of guns, some shovels, and then more accessories and some parts to build with. So let me, uh, let me go ahead and get all this stuff out, probably clean off the figures and we will take a closer look. Alrighty, there we go. We have everything all built. I gotta say, building these older Mega Constructs Mega Blocks figures are a pain. My thumbs hurt now. Putting the the upper leg into the lower leg, oh my gosh. So difficult, especially on the ones that have the peg for the knife, because the spot you gotta press is essentially stabbing your finger. So that was fun. And removing the like whitish residue was actually pretty easy. All you gotta do is get a rag, wipe it off, maybe make it a little damp, wipe it. And then to get in the cracks and crevices, you just get one of these like hobby, um, hobby Q-tips. Or honestly, you could probably use a safety pin if you were careful not to gouge the figures. There's still some excess that you'll see as we get in closer, but for the most part, the original color has been restored. So let's go ahead, jump in and look at the figures. Let's see, we'll start with this guy over here. So this dude is the first of our three divers. And this guy is all stealth. He's completely stealth mode. His mask is black. His head is black. His legs are black. His breathing tank is black. Pretty much the only thing that's not black on him is the knife down here. So that's pretty cool. He looks pretty nice. I like the molding of the wetsuit underneath. He's got a pair of pistols. I don't love this pistol. I have not ever really liked it just because you have to pop it up really high so that it sticks up to be able to have it straight because if you put it in all the way, like so, um, you have to, well, actually, hang on a second. Maybe it's not quite as bad as I thought, although, wait, now I'm forcing it out of the hand. Yeah, it does kind of have to sit up a little bit high. It That's just kind of how it is, unless you want it kind of tilted inward. Oh, but you can't even see that. Like that. That's a little weird. I don't love it as a weapon. It looks nice mold-wise, but I don't love it. Um, the air tank tubes are rubbery, so you can kind of turn his head all over the place, which is pretty cool. You don't really lose much articulation there, except for maybe upward a little bit. But even still, that's pretty good. I really love the flipper accessories. Those are really nice looking. And this is something that if I had gotten this like eight years ago, my younger self would have been loving these. Probably would have swam them around the bathtub. Um, maybe even brought them out into the creek or something. Probably lost pieces in the process. But that just looks really cool. That is That is very nice. I like that. And he's got a pouch attachment along with the knife. Yeah, pretty nice looking figure. The next two divers are very similar. They both have like the silvery undersuit. They both have um, kind of the same guns almost. Their major difference is the fact that one guy has a black head. One guy has the silvery head to match his undersuit. And then they have some different accessories. Like this guy has black pouches. This guy has gray, black knife, gray knife. Um, I don't know if there's really any other differences other than the fact that this dude has a backpack. I'm not really sure what he's doing with a backpack while diving, unless it's waterproof. But that feels like you'd be really heavy for swimming in. But both of these guys look pretty cool. I like the silver goggles. The edges have a little bit of hmm, a little ding here, a little ding there. But it's not anything that I think is really worth paying attention to. And then... Yeah, they have their flippers. So this dude, whoa, the Spec Ops dude is the clear standout with the the divers, but I do like these two. Honestly, I do think I like the silver visor guys better, just personally. But I like how there's a variation, and you can even pop and swap, mix and match. If you wanted the silver visor on the all-black um, diver, you could. There's just a lot of options. They give a lot of parts for customizing in these Call of Duty sets. And like I said, like when I was younger, this would have been so cool. I would have been swimming these guys around in the creek outside my house. I would have been probably losing their pieces, but they look pretty cool. I love those flippers. Very, very nice. Nice little lineup of divers there.
We have this guy. I don't really know what his role is in the team. He's like a spec ops guy. He looks like he has a wetsuit, but he's got like a headset and goggles masked up. He has no like body armor or anything. Uh, so I don't really know. I don't really know what, what role this guy plays. Maybe he's their like guy who hangs back like their scout or their spotter. I don't know. But he's got a knife. He's got a pouch. Um, I like his, his head. That's a pretty cool head. It's got some dark like silver gray print on the goggles. He has a machine gun with a silencer on it. Uh, this set, just all the figures, their the weapons are loose in their hands. The hands themselves look fine. They're just all very loose gripping. I don't know why. Their joints are a little on the loose side too. It's a little odd to me. But they just came out of the packaging, so that's how they were made. Um, I may put a little glue around in their hands to make them grip stuff better. But yeah, this guy's pretty cool. He does look a little skinny just because I'm used to seeing Mega figures with their body armor. But there's some nice molding on that body, like the zipper for the wetsuit or whatever. So he's a pretty cool figure. I'm just a little confused as to what role he uh, serves in the team. Other than, you know, dying. Stand up. There you go. This dude right here is probably my favorite of the whole set, just because he's a more traditional uh, Spec Ops kind of guy. You can use him in more scenes than just underwater scenes. I do like how they mixed the, the kind of, you have the diver guys and then you have the non-diver guys, and it just makes the set more uh, versatile. And he's got the same like wetsuit underneath, but this time he has the head with the night vision goggles with the green print. Looks very cool. I love that piece. And then he has actual body armor this time. He's the got the armored vest. And then he has a backpack, which it makes sense for him to be carrying the backpack. Because, you know, he'd need the stuff. Maybe, maybe this guy needs to have the backpack from the other dude. The instructions said to put it on here, but it would make more sense for the other guy to have it. And like the other figures, he has a pouch and a knife. There's a lot of knives in this set. One per figure, so you get five knives. And then he's got... A kind of normal looking machine gun. Don't really uh, don't really know what it's supposed to be. If there's supposed to be some name specifically. It just looks like a generic machine gun to me. Nothing real stand out there. But yeah, really cool. I really like this figure. Like I said, my favorite out of the whole set. Just because I can more easily do photos with this guy. I do want to try some underwater looking photos. But those are just difficult. Because you have to make the figures floating. And yeah, get the lighting right. So this dude is a nice just add-on to any scene that I'm doing with Call of Duty figures. The build of the set is kind of just a weapons rack. We get two stands attached together by a couple pieces with clips for weapons. Uh, we can just kind of steal a gun. Kind of just stick it on like that. Like so. Maybe I'm thinking that it's maybe for like clipping on like that and then... Let's see, what else do we have in here that we could add? Mm, we could add... Uh, maybe like a flashlight on there. And let's say a radio. We can push that all the way through. So now we just kind of have like a little missions uh, loadout area. It's a spot for you to pose figures on which is nice. And then they have this little thing here, which is if you want to pop this guy apart like so, and then put his armored vest on, I guess then you would have this dude uh, ready to dive as well. I don't know. That's a little odd to me. That feels a little, I don't know, useless. I don't really see the point in that really at all. But I mean, it gives a couple extra pieces that are useful, so I won't really complain. Um, we got some nice shaping down there around the back. Not too much to look at. Overall, I mean, it's a fairly simplistic build, but it's a kind of a terrain piece, so it's nice to get. And weapon racks are always useful. And then, of course, we have that crate with the little orange tiles on the top. Not exclusive to this set by any means, but it is a Call of Duty crate, and it's great for storing stuff like just to keep your collection organized these are really useful and then we have a whole slew of extra stuff we have this med pack which i really like it's a one by two plate with a one by two tile on it with the med little symbol 
very cool. I don't really know how the figures would hold it at all, but it's still really cool. I suppose you could take the top part off. Oh, oh, it sticks really hard. You could take the top part off and maybe have them hold that. I don't really know. We have a little laptop, which the figures can hold. It opens up. There's some detail for the keyboard, and there's like a radar. Now, oddly enough, we get two screens, both with stickers on it. I don't really know why. I don't know if this is on purpose or if Mega accidentally put two. Don't really know, but you get two. Then we get a shovel. I really like this piece. It's nice to get some accessories that aren't just weapons. So this shovel is a nice one. We have a flask. Whoa, come back. Another really nice one, you know, just to have. Just because, you know, everybody needs some water. Um, I think this is a claymore. Oh my gosh, these, are, these pieces want to escape. A claymore, like bomb claymore. Not the sword claymore. Then we have binoculars. Even though the claymore kind of looks like the Star Wars binoculars. We have a... Was that a, that's a flashbang? Or is that just a normal... I think that's just a normal grenade pair of them. One in silver, one in black. A fanny pack piece. So for those of you who don't know, this fits on like that onto the belt. Fanny pack. And then we have a like LMG mag kind of thing. So if you want to make one of your guns beefier. And then there is also just a normal silver mag. So pretty nice um, array of stuff as extras. You can really fill out a scene with it. Get all your guys kitted out. And then it all just tucks nicely away into this crate. Well, there you have it. That is the Mega Constructs, or I guess it's Mega Blocks, Call of Duty SEAL Team set. I gotta say, this is a pretty cool set. I, it feels very much like... I don't know, it reminds me of just some of those action figure packs that you'd see in the store where it's just like military action figures there's no real theme to it and i think that's good there's just useful pieces i mean they don't have to be military frogmen you can have them just be ocean explorers if you want to you've got a couple of spec ops guys over here you've got a little bit of terrain got a bunch of really great accessories it just feels like an overall really well-rounded set for being you know such a specific name you know it's the seal team but there's a lot you can do with this so i highly recommend it i wouldn't pay more than like 30 for this though i don't really know how much it goes for on the aftermarket right now because i don't really keep tabs on the call of duty stuff that much but i wouldn't pay any more than 30 if you can get it for 30 or less i would highly recommend it even if you're not really a call of duty fan there's just some good pieces here if you want some more generic little tiny action figures in terms of complaints, I can't really find anything major other than the hands don't grip things real well for some reason, and the joints are a little loose. Um, the issue with the whiteness on the plastic, that's just something that happens with the softer plastic in general, so I don't really think that's a knock against this set specifically. And yeah, other than that, really well-rounded. I do wish there was an armor vest for that dude, but yeah, that's kind of a nitpick, personal opinion sort of thing. Overall, very nice. I am I'm happy with the set. I wish that Mega would do more like this. I wish they would do more just like normal stuff, some more space explorers, some more divers, like stuff like that. It's really cool. They have a really nice setup here for that, and unfortunately they've kind of stopped. So overall, very good set. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.